in Brazil for like 50 years. God knows what's been going on around the world nowadays. The world is fucked. Oh, it's, 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 it's in quite a state. Pardon? Let's not get into that. It's a way longer conversation than either of us have Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry, your mouth was full with your uh, something you've been sucking on. <laughs> Alright, I need to get rid of the trees. Come on. For your information, I was lighting it. That's a fucking. Maybe later. <laughs> okay. Not the first proposition that I've had this weekend. And this <laughs> my weekend does start from Sunday to Tuesday. Fair play, fair play. Oh. Hey. There we go. We managed to do an inside bit that was nice and easy this time. That's because there was already a hill there. You do know that this coaster is, is not actually going to have any speed. Yep. <laughs> They're just going to crawl out of like that. Fully aware of this. Okay, I don't think you can do boosters on these wooden ones, can you? Nope. But it's going to have, you know, at least one... Thing or are it. you building it backwards? No, I'm literally, just literally going to have like one thing on it. Get out of the way, trees. <laughs> Kill the trees. Do you know, when I first played this game, it took me about three, four months to realise all you had to do was right-click the trees. And I would always just make my rides go around them. <laughs> <laughs> so you spent three or four months trying to actually build one ride then? Yeah, pretty much. Right, this how... one. Right, it goes through. Uh, no, I was just going to say it's like, it breaks on it. <laughs> no, <laughs> all this ride does is go under the ground for a little bit, and then up a little bit. Oh, you need to go straight. A bit yeah, let's try a bit more. Perfect. Hey! Perfect, Amando. Right, open. Those people that are still here, let's get a name for this one. Then you guys seem to be better at coming up with names than we are. Yeah, so. you need. Yeah, it needs to be a good name for this one. Again, we want to try and stick to our usual theme of something to do with cookies. Something. I have to leave. Dough. I don't know. Whatever. You um, guys can think of. Halfway. Balls. We want to let you guys choose because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for you guys, there wouldn't be any point in me streaming. Okay, bear back, guys. Pardon? Bear back. Okay. <laughs> Come back. Don't leave. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> We're all alone. <laughs> no one here beside me. That's um, Puss in Boots, wasn't it? Uh, uh, no, it's Donkey. That's it, yeah. <laughs> From Shrek 1. Donkey. I was just thinking because I had seen um, Expendables 3 recently and Antonio Banderas is in it. Is he? He is in it, yep. And he's played... What quite... action films has he been in? Oh, I mean, he was in Assassins with yeah. Sly. I used to love that film. Really? Yeah, man. Who doesn't? It's got Sly in it. <laughs> well, to be honest, I didn't know. I don't know if I was more of a Sly fan or an Arnie fan Ooh, back in the day. That is a good point. Like, Arnie does say something amazing in Expendables 3, but I will not. No spoilers. Yeah, don't spoil it for me. See it when it Come comes in. out into cinemas over here in the UK. <laughs> but really good film. I will also say that I went to see Guardians of the Galaxy yesterday. Wow. Is that a good old film, wow. is it? Marvel, well done. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I will happily say, here you go, Marvel, take all my money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. There, were, there is a sequel, but Marvel announced that themselves before the film was actually out. <laughs> right, so we've made this road. Oh, I didn't put a ride fight on it. Oh, well. <laughs> right. Oh, for God's sake, Mouse. Right. I'm sorry, you're my mouse. <laughs> £2.10 to go on this circle. <laughs> and I guarantee loads of people will go on it. Did you get a reply? A reply? Oh. Uh, I've only got two live videos up on YouTube, unfortunately. Ah, okay. So nothing to show you from Side of 18 at the moment, but when we'll Side try of 18, sort out. When Side of 18 release their EP, I will purchase it and I will play Apparently, it. that is up next week. So yeah, you'll be able to get Side of 18's EP as of next week. Retro Monday next week, there you go. I will play some Silo 18. They've been a band for a lot shorter than we have, and got an EP. they're going to have their EP out before ours. Well, well our again. second one, our first EP, has been out for about a year and it's out now. I was going to say, what, what news have you got on the second EP? On the we second EP, name. well, we know. Well, that's the thing. We're actually kind of in a bit of a discussion at the moment because Ooh. we didn't, we don't know whether to call it, uh, whether to release an EP uh, and an album 
or just go straight for the album. It's been long Ooh. enough now. We've finally got some money together to be able to record. Intriguing. This yeah. Isn't. Well, that's the this thing. Is we're backstage we're... news that you guys have <laughs> before anybody else. I think what uh, we talked about is we were going to just do a, a, a quick demo just to get used to recording again because it has been a while since we've been yeah. in the studio or anything. Uh, so Would yeah, the we'll... demo be the. We're gonna we're thinking about it. Yeah, we might release that as the cookie P. Yep. Um, Very clever name. Yeah, because <laughs> obviously cook the yep. P cookie P. Yep. Yeah, and his name was Paul Cook, so it all it all works out really well. And of course, like sales of that will go to Dens as well. But yeah, I think that's what the general plan is: is that and then um, a full length album. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna have a full length album, hopefully. By the end of the year, we hope. I mean, we've, been, we've waited a long time for it. The main reason being is we've done it before where we recorded, got something out as quick as possible, and then a few weeks down the line, we were like, oh, I don't like the recording, that sounds terrible, stuff like that. So now we're just, we want to we want to do it properly. We want to take it, like, we want to, we want it to be the best we can possibly do. So we're well, going to take see, some time with it. If you guys can book yourself a week in Bournemouth, I can get you into a very good pod production studio. Oh really? Yes. Ironically, the guys who are sponsoring this stream, Harrison and Harrison, no. Perks and Halloway Galloway. Yeah. Halloway, Halloway, that's the one. Perks and Halloway, one of them, um, I don't know if he still does, but he does have shall we say very strong links to a recording studio and he was producing in it, I will find out he still is. Oh, but okay. I can get you into their studio and okay. Well, that's something I'll. Uh, you just have to find yourself. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll definitely have to mention that to Sonny and John yeah. cause, uh, and Simon because we've uh, we've we've always been about like yeah. all wanting to do the same thing. Rather, oh look at that. Still, close still to roller coasters has come along. Shall I build you got, no, you got to build your river rapids. You told everyone in the street. Oh yeah, so I did. Sorry. Yeah. I think my dogs have just started barking. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, they'll probably hear that though in this microphone. Mm. <laughs> probably. Right. Uh, River Rapids. River Rapids, yes. So where's the log feed? Are you... There you go, my dogs. But where uh, are the River Rapids? rapids right, what have we got? We've got Ropey Rapids. They look terrible. Or you've Custom. Build, you've got to build this yeah, over the custom. lake. All the way over the lake? Just, like, on the lake. Shall I have it basically yeah. like... One second. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back, oh. guys. If you turn the can down, grab me a Fanta from the fridge. <laughs> right, I'm now all alone doing this. Okay, right, so Dan wanted a River Rapids thing that goes right across the water. Okay, I think I can do this. Right. Forgive me if I don't say much during this little bit. <laughs> really not used to doing it. Uh, but do owe Dan a big thanks for let, letting us come on and do this. Obviously getting to talk about Cookie Fest and my crappy band as well. Uh, where should we have these River Rapids start? There we go. And I'll have the, yeah, have the queue go over it. It'd be cool. Uh, that's big enough. What specials we got? A whirlpool? Waterfalls? You can just ask what specials you've got with Dan in the channel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, I did, Matt. Yes, I did. No, refer it. He's uh, gone downstairs. Oh, no, he's gone out on the phone, sorry. Um, and he should be getting me a Fanta as well, hopefully, if he heard me. But Because uh, it's getting quite warm in my room here. I think it's because PC, maybe. Yeah, uh, I, my PC was right next to the boiler before. Oh, man. Um, there was a, obviously a wall yeah. between me and the boiler, but um, I decided to swap my room around a lot. I uh, see. I tried doing that rearrange because uh, I had a bit of a power issue in my room. I was having to run everything off of it because I've only got the one plug in my whole room, uh, and I was trying to run everything off that. It's a double socket for me, though, so it's not overly bad. Well, mine is a double socket, but only one half of it works. <laughs> <laughs> I have three plug sockets in my room. One is from World War Two and doesn't work. <laughs> um, and one the double that works perfectly fine. Mm. So I've got double adapters running in and out of that, like, you'll leave and say, like, yeah, I'm going to blow something up at some point. <laughs> that does sound pretty handy, though. Well, not really, because the one socket that doesn't work mm -hmm. uh, with the new location of my PC, it would be awesome if it bloody worked. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh dear. I would like to sort out uh, the power in here because at the moment, it's the minute I've got everything running, the whole room just turns into an oven basically. Yeah, if that's okay. Uh, grab yourself one as well. There's there's Fanta in the fridge downstairs. In the kitchen. Yeah. Thank you, man. That's usually where fridges are. Yeah. It's nice having a little Dan slave. Like. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, oh, too high for supports. Really. It's barely. It's barely a gnat's leg off the ground. Look. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right. So, um, what old retro games do you really like? Do I really, what really games, like? I mean, things like the what games you got for the NES, for example. Well, actually, I wish I wish Dan had explained this to you, but the NES is the one console I don't have that many games for. I used to have a lot more, and I honestly can't remember if they were lost, sold, or stolen. But I, I used to have about double what I have now, uh, and then due to some, uh, some, yeah, I didn't really take great care of everything when I was about. When I, was a, when I was an older teenager, so a lot of stuff either got traded in for booze money or, or cigarettes or something. <laughs> but, That's unfortunate. Um, I had um, about 300 quid's worth of PlayStation 2 games at one point, sold them all at once, mm. and instead of getting cash, which is what I would have got 300 quid for, yeah. I decided I'd buy something at the same time, oh. which gave me a credit note. Oh, no way. For the one shop I don't use. <laughs> I sort of done the same thing with a Mega Drive a few years ago. I traded in most of my childhood games all in one go. And since then I've been trying to rebuild the collection again. But um, my absolute favourite like retro games, I'll just look at what I've got on the shelf now. I mean, I've got like uh, a game called Probotector. It's, uh, I, I don't really think it's that well known over here, but uh, it's called Contra in the United States. Um, if you've heard of that, I think I have. It's like it's like a 2D plat side-scrolling platformer w with guns, uh, and you're shooting like uh, like people and fighting aliens stuff like that. It's I it's hard I've... as balls. It's such a hard game, but that's it's this wasn't the first game to have it, but it was one of the very first games to make Konami Code famous. I brought someone to say hello. Ah, someone to say hello. Ah, it's my girlfriend, Joe. Yeah. Come on in. Sorry ladies, Jamie does have a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry men, I like the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, meet Joe, Hi. Joe meet Matt. Hi Matt. Matt is my cousin. Joe. Nobody can see Joe no, apart oh. from her. Crouch down a bit. What, when, he, when he watched my viewers now fly out there, we'll stand up again, we'll get yeah. like double the... <laughs> <laughs> I bring drinks. Oh, thank you so much. It is starting to get quite hot in here. It, it is. is warm in yeah. here. I think so, yeah. I'm just I was, men playing your video game. I was informing Joe that you were absolutely loving this streaming business. It's quite fun, yeah. Um, I've got to be honest, when you left the room and I was all by myself, even without Matt, I did start to poo myself just a little bit. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I admit that to everyone right now. It is a, oh, it's fine. <laughs> it is a bit daunting at first. So Self-deprecation is how I get through my life. Right. The delay's a bit strange because I was watching downstairs and I mm. heard the noise of the jumping jacks from downstairs mm. and then 15 seconds later saw what the noise was. <laughs> so that was a bit weird. Yeah, the delay is a pain because um, <laughs> I'm obviously not there. Um, <laughs> so I'm having to watch everything 15 seconds later and yeah, it irritates me. Oh, I, I'm good. not doing anything. Like the that. first time I tried to watch Retro Mondays, I got five seconds of footage then 10 seconds of silence then five seconds of footage and 10 seconds of silence so like and i think i just couldn't i couldn't get twitch to work on my tablet for some reason no, well, I can't mind either, really. but, um, uh, oh yeah uh Dan told me about that i think i left and like five minutes later you joined oh really and i played yeah. some same sebastian that stream actually oh played. yeah that's when you first played that yep <laughs> thank you for that by the way that's all right <laughs> this is uh yeah the ra no, this isn't a log thing this is just the rapids <laughs> Uh, we've got our swinging ship, the cookie cutter. We can call that one the, yeah, the cookie cutter too. Cookie cutter too, right? Done. Yeah, we've tried, been trying to name everything cookie. <laughs> so uh, this is cookie lakes. This, this is cookie lake. Part. Uh, what we had so far, we've had the crumbler, which is a roller coaster. Yeah, but no one went on it. No. Not one single person went on it. Ricky helped us um, name the Ferris wheel, and it's now named the wagon wheel. Sticking with a chocolate goodie yeah. treats for you, I like it. Uh, we named someone in the last part Jamie. And he was addicted to the merry-go-rounds. Yes, it hasn't been. Or the uh, cookie go-round. Yeah, the cookie go-round. 
Right, I was hoping to go really, really high and up over the lake with this, but that's as high as it goes. <laughs> but then again, this still looks like something that I would want to go on. This looks pretty cool. The last time you said that about a roller coaster you built on here, loads of people died. <laughs> yeah, but this that's isn't a roller really coaster. Really really this will go like two miles an hour, it'll be fine. But yes. No deaths this time. Funny there hasn't been a single death so far, actually. Well, that is a record for you. Every time <laughs> I've watched this, there's been at least ten deaths. I don't... Yeah, I'm, yeah but I'm pretty good. <laughs> Funny enough, the crumbler that he built, mm. nobody went on it at all. Because yeah, it was no too one scary. went on the crumbler. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what. Oh, what? Am I too far behind. You can name this one. What can we name this one? Um, like I said, the theme is cookie and cookies. Chocolate chip dip. Chocolate, Chocolate chip, chip, chip dip. dip. We can go for that. That's a good name for for a, for a River Rapids. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> you're just building it over the edge. I, I eventually start making the paths like I do roller coasters. <laughs> well, the path's looking more fun than the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's going to come down again. Yeah, because of it's the crumbler. Going over the, interest, the exit. Yeah. Because of Damn Jamie's it. history with um, the crumbler, he decided to build the most boring roller coaster in the world. It went round in a circle, basically. And, and so far... The, and look at the queue already. So far, <laughs> it is the most popular ride in the world. <laughs> 50 people queue in. Hey, wait, wait, what do people actually think of it? Roller coaster one looks too intense for me. <laughs> Who are you? You are gonna in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> He's drowning, save him, quick. Oh, I've just noticed. <laughs> I have just noticed that no one can get on the boats because they are stuck. <laughs> Well, Jamie didn't he never say said good. There are <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no promises of good were right. ever made. I'm going to close down this ride, max exodus of people, uh, <laughs> build it. Speaking of max exodus, have fun. Oh, have fun. See you later, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was not you, Jamie. Yeah. Uh, Matt. I'm just going to. Oh, so bad at names. Are you just going to do that now for both? Yeah. If people can't be held, if people can't responsibly just pilot a boat <laughs> around the lake without just getting all stuck in the same thing, then they're going to have to deal with that. There you go, the world's most exciting boat. <laughs> Who thinks the roller coaster one looks too? It goes round in a circle, then up one hill. What's okay. it? What's its it, intensity? He's drowned rate? now. That was what? Probably... Look at his intensity rating. Five high. How? Is maybe the lake map for children, perhaps? <laughs> no, just no, you. no, no. They're, they're, it's it's welcome to all ages. I need to sort this bloody path out, don't I? Right. Yes, yeah, so we can open that one. The the cookie kit, uh, the cookie chip, chip. cookie what? What, it was, what, what is it? The cookie, the cookie chip dip. Oh, we got a new. We got a new like on Crossroad Gaming Facebook page. Simon, whoop, whoop. Simon Ross McDonald, was that right? I think that was the gentleman's name. If you are in the stream still, thank you for thank you for liking the Facebook page. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, this shit. Right, is let's get this one open. Now, yeah, that's set up. That's good to go. Open. Hopefully, people will enjoy oh, this. Did I get a new follower? Did uh, you hear the victory fanfare from Final Fantasy VII? Another game I've actually never played. How can you have not played? <laughs> I've always been scared of telling people that, considering I'm a retro gamer. Considering you're talking to Iron <laughs> Sovereign as well right now, who absolutely loves the Final Fantasy. No, I, um, I've i never really got on with the Final yeah, Fantasy like... series. I, well, basically, I'll tell you my story. Uh, I used to read... Really uh I can't remember what it was called. Was it just? I don't think it was the official PlayStation mag, but it was one PlayStation magazine years ago. Uh, it was about the time Metal Gear Solid came out, and so and Metal Gear Solid is probably one of my fa also one of my favourite games of all time. And yeah, and then there was this review for I think Final Fantasy VIII, I think it was that came out at the time. And I'd heard all this hype, obviously about Final Fantasy VII, and then I played the demo for Final Fantasy VIII, and I'd never played. An, I should probably stress I'd never played an RPG at that point, and my reaction was, "What the hell is this? This is awful!" And then I just never ever went back to it. And obviously, as I've got a bit older. I've been told that I'm an idiot and that I should definitely go back and experience some of these. But um, yes, you should. <laughs> trying to get a copy of Final Fantasy, like the actual Final Fantasy, it's gotten really expensive now, though. So what, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, so I'm gonna have uh, to download it on the PSN. I think. What is it on PC, Matt? 
you're the one with the internet access. I'm busy shooting stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, but my computer is busy hosting Retro Monday. <laughs> Tomato, potato. They're the same thing. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> See, that does actually look quite fun. I, I wouldn't mind I would going go on that. that. It's raining. Why is no one buying umbrellas? Oh, they are. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's going uh, to we, buy umbrellas. We need another kiosk that's doing blue umbrellas. Uh, over here. What was I going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say there. Uh, forget. Oh, I was going to say, there you go, that's, that's the game that we will have to play next time we do Retro Monday. What is that? I'll have to get Final Fantasy VII for PC, and oh. we'll get a PC controller, because oh. you're a console gamer. Yeah, uh, mouse you're keyboard. You're a casual gamer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oi! <laughs> <laughs> and we will no, get... you are technically a casual gamer. Thank you. Ooh, the PC elitists. <laughs> 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 And next uh, I've time. I've spent 13 years of my life gaming non stop. So <laughs> compared to me doing that. We will get you to play Final Fantasy VII. Okay. Yeah, like, there is one bit about Final Fantasy, VII, Final Fantasy VII that I do know about, and that's the the bit where you go to a, a. Is it a bathhouse? And you have to get into a jacuzzi with a bunch of men or something like that? Am I talking about the right game here? I don't remember this. Uh, I don't know. I you swear I've seen a few videos regarding that. I'm just going to do this here. And then that should hold that. Well, the correct type of videos you should be watching on the internet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that on YouTube by any chance? It was on YouTube. I think it was. That sounds like someone's made their own fan version of. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm thinking about the right one. <laughs> was that on YouTube or Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the right one. <laughs> Pornhub. And some, someone's dressed up as um, Cloud and been made to get in a jacuzzi. <laughs> No, no. There are so many people that would do that willingly, regardless. No, there, is, there is a bit where Cloud has to dress up like a woman, right? Yes. You're talking to the wrong person. Yes. I can try and find out from Neil if you like. No, He's there is a. I, re I remember this yeah. part. This part does happen. It is a bit weird. He does have to dress up as a yeah. woman, but I don't remember him having to go into and then he's a into, jacuzzi. I swear he's in a jacuzzi with a bunch of I don't men remember that. with like moustaches and stuff. I don't I'm sure that, in fact, you know, I'm going to look up myself. You're meant to be building I up. am supposed to be building up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is more important. <laughs> but, see, um, I don't think that class to me is a casual gamer. Just while you were playing FF7, I was playing Ocarina of Time, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, uh, and nothing wrong Metal Gear Solid. And <laughs> nothing wrong with Metal Gear Solid, nothing wrong with Zelda, one of the Ocarina of Time, quite possibly one of the greatest games on time. GoldenEye. I've only, I've only ever completed one Legend of Zelda game and it wasn't Ocarina of Time. Which really? one? Uh, it was the Wind Waker. Because... Oh, yes. that is probably great my game. favourite one. Yeah, great game. Uh, either that or, it's not exactly retro, but the new one, A Link Between Worlds, that was on a 3DS. I haven't played it's it. Apparently like... the latest Legend of Zelda game isn't having Link in it. Oh, you mean the new one they talked about at E3? Like the open world yeah. Zelda? Yeah, well, that's not having Link in it is still Link from what I un understand him, but just a different what design. Read, which is a while ago, it, um, they said it wasn't Link. But ah. Things change in the games industry overnight, so mm. they might have realised it's a bad idea having a Legend of Zelda game without Link. Obviously, I kind of think that Zelda is really important in a Legend of Zelda game. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's, she's never really... You don't really see much of the title character in any Zelda game, really. Like, uh -huh. No, because she tends he's to. Where she's focused on Link and his adventure to try and save her from what yeah. she's got herself into. But, Basically, uh, it's uh, Mario and Peach, but on yep. a, a scale. Mm. When they uh, when they first made the very first Mario, Super Mario Brothers, not just the the arcade game, when they very first made that and Zelda, um, they basically. They were the only two games that Nintendo basically focused on uh, fully. So basically, they had like ideas, any ideas that would work for an adventure too. game. That's yeah, it's Cookie Cut too. Any ideas that had for an adventure game uh, all went to Zelda, and any ideas they had for platformer all went to Mario. And they're all still the same like uh, things that they use in in the games they release today, like uh, like the health built bars for like Zelda and. Like yeah. the items, but was it, it like it, they've all those games have basically just been the same, just re be receiving slight updates mm -hmm. for like the last thirty years. Like, but why? why it, I, think, I, think, I think Mario, the, the latest Mario that's brought out, runs in the same engine that the original 
Mario Brothers was released though. Really? Yeah, and there's that Mario Maker they're bringing out, which I don't know if you've seen that. Uh, I've but that actually you make your own, really. yeah, using that like kind of engine. Thing. Wow. It's awesome. But, uh, but is that thing, is that thing of why cool. change what works? Exactly, yeah. I mean. I mean, just look at Pokemon, that's been going on for decades. Yeah. And yeah. It's not, not a single thing about it has changed. You, yeah. you play Pokemon Red or Blue on the old Game Boy, and it's practically the same as playing X and Y, just Ooh. with a different aesthetic. They, they re released them, didn't they? Fire Red and. Yeah, um, I think they didn't. They didn't re-release blue though. I think they'd done what they just released green, green but like, fire red and green. Yeah, and whatever. But, but my favourite was first two. My favourite was yellow. Yellow was cool with because the Pikachu, Pikachu following around. Yeah. But uh, it was the easiest. Always hated Pikachu. It was yeah. really. <laughs> yeah. See, I was kind of indifferent to him. Like I never really minded him. Um, but Blastoise is still my favourite. Charmander. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves Charizard. Yeah. He was the first, and in my opinion, the only dragon type Pokemon they had that wasn't a bloody dragon type. <laughs> and he had wings and couldn't fly. And he was an arsehole. Well, that's all I remember from watching Pokemon TV. Program. No, it's not that he was an arsehole, it was Ash is a crap trainer, that's why. And he wasn't a high enough level. Yeah. <laughs> Ash, was, Ash has always been crap. Yeah, yeah. Me, and, me and my girlfriend watched the new series of Pokemon the other day, actually. Uh, well, I don't know if it's the new one anymore, Pokemon Black and White. I think there might be an even newer one now, but yeah, Ash. Apparently, 14 years after the first episode, Ash is still a 10-year-old boy, and even though Pikachu must be level 99 by now, he still couldn't beat an entry-level Pokemon. In a way, Ash is still 14 years old. Why? The original intro to Pokemon, uh, the original series of Pokemon, Ash sees a ho ho, and yeah. the cut states that anyone who sees him stays forever young. That's Matt. a bit convenient. And Matt, yeah, you know yeah, too man. much about Pokemon. Does that mean Misty's legal now? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, them and him and Brock must be having some wild times there. <laughs> the way he used to look at her. <laughs> what you can't see? Can he? He's the most racist character ever. <laughs> 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 I now have 46 followers. Woohoo! I had 45 plus the one. Welcome along. I should put a roller coaster in this roller coaster game, shouldn't I? And that, by the way, is the Final Fantasy VII Victory Fanfare. Ah, I see. I love that little. It is one of the most iconic pieces of music. Whenever I bring out stuff sometimes to show people, I like doing the Zelda, like the treasure chest one. Oh, that's also very nice. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> <laughs> Joho 182, welcome along to the Legonites and thank you for joining us today. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise for the nickname you get by following Dan's stream. It is embarrassing. What, say it slowly for me. What, what do you actually say? Joho, what do you not even know? Joho 182, welcome along. Uh, thank you for joining the stream. Welcome along to the Legonites. Lego Knights. Lego oh, Knights. Lego Knights. Right. Okay. If it was Lego Knights, as in the Lego block things, that would be fine. But it's yeah. not. It's the Leggy Knights. Leggy Knights. Yeah. Which, I was at work. Which is pretty embarrassing, really, to be it's associated with. Well, I think it's not bad. I was at work one day and um, I got called. Um, what was it? People from where I used to live in New Melton. Um, we called them the Lego Knights, and I was like, Oh my God, that is amazing. That's it. That's the name of my followers. The Legonites. <laughs> and now your girlfriend is a Legonite. Hooray! <laughs> and when you eventually make a Twitch account, you're a Legonite. Hooray! <laughs> Assuming he follows you. Oh, I, I better. Like, well, <laughs> who knows what happens when Jamie can eventually get a computer? Oh, well, I'll tell you what will happen. Joe won't see you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the band won't fail. <laughs> <laughs> Will you just be streaming with Saving Sebastian on a loop in the background with your music? I out? might not even just be streaming. I think if if I start playing Kerbal Space Program again, <laughs> I don't think anyone will see me. Oh my god! I just noticed the log fumes here. I'm not, I'm not making this roller coaster. I'm putting a log fume. Oh, oh what did I do? <laughs> you just made it windowed. All right, there we go. Oh, how do I get back out of that? What? Well, yeah, that's fine. That's meant to be that. It's part of my um. Multi screen software. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's fine. I'm still learning how to use these old p personal computers. <laughs> Basically, right. it's set up so I can have each oh, yeah, monitor yeah. doing its own thing. Ah, I see. Right, log fume. Now we need to build. Flume. It's not a fume. How it's much money have we got? 
Full ground. We haven't even touched the loan yet. You start off with a two loan, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And the idea is to pay it off as you go, but we're not interesting in completing. <laughs> we just want to pay it off. Ooh, 